These are all of my blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. I think at least pretty much all of it. I think it's everything. Um, and I'm just gonna go through and look at what I want to declutter. I think there are a few that I would like to just depot into something else. And um, maybe franken some of them because I think some of them might have... I, I like it, but I think I would like it more if it was a little bit cooler or warmer or something like that. So I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna be able to see the screen if I sit down, but I'm gonna sit down anyway and just have a look at everything. So, um, some of the other blushes that I know, let's just, let's just do bronzers. No, what am I saying? Let's just do blushes first. That means I can remove these and these and I think mostly everything else is blushes. Okay. So I know I want to keep my Patrick Star uh, blush in the shade. Uh, I'm not blushing. This is very old and I don't really use it that much, but I love the compact and I also really like the blush. So as long as this one stays like still nice, I'm gonna keep it. And the Tarte Energy Blush, which is, um, it's like a, it's like a bright pink, but it doesn't look this bright pink on the cheeks. And this is a newer blush to me. And I definitely want to keep this. They say it's a skin intuitive blush, so it's supposed to like um, work with your skin tone, or I don't know. It's kind of cute, and it's just a very bright pink. So I'm keeping that one, and then I also know I want to keep one of my newer blushes, which is a MAC Glow Play blush in the shade Ginger Luck, which is like a beige blush. I saw someone online talk about like blush beige blush being the new obsession and I just had a look at this and it looked gorgeous. I'm not sure it works that well with my skin tone but I think I like it. I haven't really decided yet. My Colourpop Pokemon blush is still a fairly new one, Electro Ball, and it has Pikachu on it so I'm giving that one. And I also know I want to keep my uh, MAC Whitney Houston blush. It's in a shade Nifis Pink Rose and it's gorgeous. Probably the last MAC blush I bought, but it's like two years ago now, so that's kind of crazy. Uh, another MAC blush I know I'm keeping, this is not the packaging it is originally in, but I just, I took out the blush that was in here, which was a shade called Painted Canyon, and then I just popped in a magnet, and that means I can put my magnetic MAC blush in the shade Sun Basic. I can just put it back put it in here or keep it in my palette and that works really well and I love this blush so I'm probably obviously keeping that one. And then the ones that I'm not so sure about is basically the rest of it. One, two, three, four, five. So that's six I know I want to keep. And then I'm uh, also keeping my MAC The Simpsons blush but this, look at this, it's not really ever been used. Uh, I've only used it a little bit and the imprint is still perfect and um, this is going in my, like out of my collection kind of, like out of the makeup that I actually use and into my like makeup memorabilia things I no longer use but I keep it for just the memories kind of. I used to love The Simpsons. Uh, and then I have some blushes from Essence. And I think I want to keep both of these. I've been using this Essence The Blush in the shade Bespoke, shade number 20, for some frankening. So I actually have this one also in this little palette. It's the middle shade here. Uh, because I read on Temptalia's website once that it's kind of a dupe of my favorite bronzer, which was the Becca Capri Coast. Capri Sun? Capri Coast. It was one of the Becca Sunlit bronzers, and I love that one. Uh, used it up completely, and then this was supposed to be kind of similar, but this is, has more of a blush tone to it. So I'm keeping it, but I think this might be one that I will use for frankening in the future. And then this Essence blush is just one that I 
not that old. I've also scraped and repressed some of this one, I think, into something else or frankened it with something. Um, it's just an easy blush to travel with. It's a nice shade. These are really good blushes and they take up so little space as well. They're just nice blushes. So I'm also keeping those. Um, and then comes a couple of really old blushes. Who remembers these Too Faced Love Flush blushes? Uh, this one I actually tried using up. This is repressed into here. I had hit pan on it quite like a pretty big pan. I'm gonna see if I have a picture of that and post it somewhere here because um, I feel like that was I did a really good job at using this blush. But now it's just old. I never use it, and even though it feels okay, um, I'm gonna declutter this blush. But I will be keeping the compact because I think I would like to franken something else into this compact because it's very cute. And the same goes for this one. And I haven't used this one in so long. The shade Love Hangover. Uh, you can see I haven't really used it much at all. Still has the imprints all over. Um, and it's cute, but it's just a little bit too dark and pigmented for my fair skin. So that's why I never really started using it. And now I feel like I've had this for so many years and it's just it's time. So I'm going to keep the compact of both of these, but the blushes in here are the clutters. And the same goes for this pink that I have put in here. I don't even know what this I think this might be a mix of some other blushes from this uh, Ofra palette right here and something else. I don't know, but this is just too bright. So I'm going to scoop this one out. And put something else instead. I haven't decided what that's gonna be. Uh, and as I said, this is this blush right here, and then uh, this is one of my bronzers. I think it might be the Milani Sun Kissed Silky Matte in Sun Kissed. So this was supposed to be like a red, nice travel palette, and I mean it's cute, but. I'm not really using it that much, and I think one of the reasons is that this blush is just not the right tone for me. Um, and then I have some blushes that are in palettes that I just don't really use. So these come from, uh, it's in a The Balm palette that I don't remember. Like I think I got this as a goodbye gift when I left the job that I had, how many years ago? A very long time ago, I think 2020, probably. Um, so I think I'm gonna declutter these, but I'm thinking maybe this will be, because this is a very nice blush, I'm gonna swatch and see, but if this is a blush that I like and I don't have anything very similar to it, I'm gonna put this one into this compact, I think, because this is a nice blush, I don't just don't really use it when it's in this palette. And these two I just don't really like that much. They are a little bit too dark. This one's just a little bit too purple. And this is too brown. This one, however, this is a blush from a brand called Glow Skin Beauty. Uh, and I got uh, a palette with lots of blushes. Uh, I got it from my mom, who got it from her hairdresser or something like that. Uh, very expensive blush palette. Very good quality blushes. It's getting old, but I love this blush, as you can see, because I've hit pan on it and I've used this one so much. So I'm thinking maybe I'll be able to finish this one at some point. Um, so I'm keeping this one for sure. And I'm going to pop that into this palette. And I need to see what else in here I want to uh, keep. And that, oh, this is hard. I know I don't want to keep the more cool toned ones. How am I going to do this? Let's do this. This one I'm keeping. This one I'm not keeping. This one I'm maybe keeping. Uh, so we'll put them in here. Can you see this? Yes, I think so. Uh, so that one, and I'm pretty sure I don't want to keep this. It's just very brown. I don't use it. I also don't want to keep this one. These. And um, I think I'm going to keep this one because this is kind of a contour tone on my skin. Uh, and I think mixing this one with something else would be a very nice contour shade. 
which would be a little bit lighter than what I'm currently using, so I'm going to keep that. These are, now I'm jumping around, but these are uh, actually highlighters that I departed from my MAC Hyper Real Glow palette. Uh, I had Hit Pan in at least one of the shades, maybe two, and I do love these highlighters, but they are just a bit much for me at the moment. I think I don't really use, and the same, all of these are from the same, all of these are the same thing. So I might keep one of them, but I haven't decided which one. I'll do that and then I'll show you. Um, and then for the rest of these, I think, this is kind of nice though, but will I, will I actually use this? This is kind of a highlighter, like a blush topper almost. I think I want to keep that. This is just a very light pink that I've used for mixing. So that's why it has a very big pan in it. But I don't think I'm going to use this one on its own. And I do have the bright pink um, tart blush. So this one can go. And this is more of a highlighter as well. I'm just not sure. It's one... I don't remember ever using this. Let's just get rid of, rid of it. And this is also a cool tone blush. It pains me to get rid of these blushes because they were... Well, I got them for free, but... It's, they are very good quality blushes and they were... Would be expensive if I wanted to get them again. I don't think it's available. Like, that palette don't exist anymore. But I'm just... I feel like all of these can go. Is this one very nice though? I need more space. No, that's way too cool tone. How does that compare to this one? That's more cool tone. No, I really don't like that. But why is this so hard? Suddenly. I also used to really like these that were divided into two parts, but I haven't been using them at all. So why do I keep them? I think maybe I only want to keep these. And then maybe put them into compacts or something. But should I? Keep just one more. Okay, I'll keep one more. I guess I'm just looking at this one and I don't think I have anything that's similar at all to this one. So it would be nice to keep just that. So these are the ones I'm keeping. And this one I'll put in here. And then I have one more blush. This is from Kiko Milano. This is getting really, really old. I think about this in 2019 if I remember correctly, but it still smells the exact same. It's a big blush. I haven't used it that much, but I've been using it like, I would say, regular, reg, I, I don't know why I tried to say that word. I cannot say it. I'm using it on a regular basis for uh, years, but it doesn't look like it, but it still works absolutely fine, and I'm going to keep it. I don't have that many blushes now. And then I have a couple of blushes in my Becca and Chloe, Chloe and Malika BFF palette. And I'm just ready to depart with this packaging now. Um, I have scraped out a lot of this bronzer and put it into a different compact. I don't love the highlighter. It's just a bit much. It's very pretty though. It's a very nice formula. But what I'm thinking is I'm definitely going to remove the product from this palette. I'm declaring the actual palette. I uh, bought this one in 2019 as well. Uh, but I might franken some of the or depot some of the blushes and put it into a different compact. And if I do, I will film that video and then you'll be able to see it. But um, I'm just, this is just 
packaging and I would not be able to finish. I like could do a pan, panda palette, but I would not be able to finish two blushes and this very big highlighter and this bronzer. So I just don't want to, I don't want to have to open this bulky big packaging every day just to try to finish these if I can put them into something else, if you know what I mean. And then I have some cream blushes as well that I forgot to mention. I will need to get those. So these are the um, blushes that I currently own that are like cream blushes. I think these are the only ones. Uh, one is the Max Factor Miracle Pure in Fa no, what is it called? Infused Cream Blush in Sunlit Coral. I don't really like this that much. But it's a very unique color. So now I'm not sure. Can you see me just rubbing it? Um, so I feel like even because I just have these three. This is a ColourPop one. This is fairly new. One of the new, what is it called? Weightless liquid blush. It's a bit bright for me. But it's cute. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep all of these. And two of the Tarte blush tapes. And then I'll see. Like this is getting kind of old though. I'm going to have this one, keep this one around for like another year and then I will declutter it because it gets old. Hopefully I'll get some use out of it. It's just a very bright color and I found that it doesn't really blend as well as a lot of other like, cream blush blushes do. And it's just a very bright color but it's also very pretty. It's just not as blendable and yeah, I'm not sure. So that, that's, that's that. So, moving on to highlighters, um, I know I want to keep my Kiko Milano Glow Fusion Blush in the shade 01. This is my newest highlighter, and it's just a very subtle, pretty, just a pretty highlighter, and it's just the right tone for me. It's light enough, but it still gives a, you will not be able to see that, it gives a like sheen to the skin that is just very pretty. And I'm not keeping my Essence Snow Much Love Cream Highlighter. This is also pretty. Um, this was just something I bought because we were on vacation. We went to Berlin for a weekend um, around Christmas time two years ago. And I just kind of think, thought it was cute. It was from a holiday collection or something. Um, but I didn't and actually end up using it. So I'm not keeping that one. And the only other highlighters I have, am I lying now? Like this is also kind of a highlighter or a highlighter slash blush hybrid. This is from MAC and it's called Hot Damoiselle d'Avignon Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Uh, this is the only Extra Dimension Skin Finish I have like here, but I do have more, but they are in my like memory box. I'm um, keeping this one. It's a uh, blush topper. It's getting old, but I don't care. Actually. And then I have my The Balm, the Luminizer Squad palette. And this one, I have not been using at all. But what I think I might do, just to give it like one last, because this is getting old, so I cannot give it to someone else. So I would either, either have to toss it or try to use it. So I think I'm just going to depot these and put them because now I have a lot of room in this palette so that I can make a little blush palette and see if I use them that way. And if I don't, they will probably have to go in my next declutter. But I want to give them one last chance because I don't have that many highlighters now. And if I'm also going to be decluttering all of my MAC Hyper Real Glow uh, highlighters, I won't have that many and I might want to use these. But I just don't really use highlighter that much anymore. And if I do, I have this one. And I also have one more that I didn't show you because I have it in a eyeshadow palette and I use it as an inner corner highlight. And that's the Becca Becca highlighter in the shade Vanilla Quartz. Is that what it's called? And that's similar to this one, but it's not the same. And I want to try to finish the Becca one next year. I just, I have it depotted into a, an eyeshadow single so that I have it in my eyeshadow palette to use as an inner corner. And then I just need to decide, oops, 
whether or not I'm going to keep any of these MAC. I don't remember which ones are the same. There are three different shades. One is a much pinkier, and then there's one that is a lot more gold. Maybe I decluttered the gold one. Now I don't know which to switch. Oh, this is hard. I need to get some wet wipes. I think I'm just gonna keep this one because I think these two are the same and then these are different, but I don't need a pan that big, so I'm just gonna keep this. I have this in a, a ColourPop. Um, no, this is the shade Rosy Glow. I actually have them. This is Night of the Party. This is Flash and Awe. And this is a Franken. Oh, that makes it a little bit harder, actually. Because Flash and Awe is the one I like the most. Rosy Glow is just a bit too pink. Okay, I'm keeping the slightly bigger one and then I might deposit it into a smaller size pan at some point. We'll see. So I'm getting rid of I'm gonna do this. All these and this one and this one and this one. And then also this highlighter. And I will also and this one. And then I will also get rid of the product and these two and the one blush in here, uh, Depot, this palette, and this one. So these are the ones that are kind of, I'm gonna remove them from my spreadsheet, and yeah, that's basically everything I'm gonna do. I'm gonna toss or Depot, Franken, that type of thing, and then I'm keeping as far as like blush and highlighter go. So I'm just gonna put these aside. And just put them back in here. Um, will I have room for all of them though? I never know what to do with this cream blush. It just doesn't really fit in here. Okay, that. And then I keep these somewhere else and now I don't have room for the highlighter. How did I have room before? Like what the actual heck. Okay, I'll figure that out. So putting my blushes aside, also uh, kind of declaring this on but not really. For Bronzers. Let's put all of this away and let's do bronzers. So I have my bronzers right here. This is a powder, so that one obviously is saying this is also a powder. I just keep them in these MAC compacts. This one we already talked about, so that leaves maybe these. Um, and I've said in my project pan videos that I'm just not real sure what to do about this but I'm working really hard to try to finish it so I'm gonna see what I can do um, I'm still trying um, but if I don't finish it by the end of the year I'm fine with that to be honest I'm pre-filming this one a little bit so maybe something has happened between now and the time that this video goes live and maybe I've already said something about it in my project pad and if that's the case I'm sorry but I'm keeping this for now but by the end of the year if I haven't finished it I'm going to scrape it all out and use the compact for something else that I have decided my NARS uh, Laguna Mini I'm definitely keeping this is fairly new and I love it uh, and then I have a MAC blush no it's not a blush this is a bronzer called Canyon Dreaming and it's also if you remember this collection, it's kind of old. But it's a lovely bronzer. It's a little bit warm, but I like it. And I think 
I want to try panning this in 2025. We'll see. I might try also franken it with something else. And one of the things I was thinking of maybe trying to franken it with is this. Uh, this used to be a matte bronze rosin powder, but it is now a franken that I made out of some. I don't actually remember. It was like an old bronzer mixed with some blush. Um, and it just kind of created this very highlighty. What do I even call that? Let's see if I be able to swatch it. It's just a kind of warm tone, very glowy bronzer. And if you look at these side by side, I think mixing these two, this one looks very light, but that's because it's very glowy. Mixing these two would make a really nice bronzer. So I'm going to try that, just mixing a little bit and see if I like the color and see if, like, if I use that one up, if that is a way I would like to finish this one. Um, but yeah, so I'm keeping these. Um, I like these both. I also love my NARS Laguna a cream blush. No, cream, blush, cream, cream bronzer. So I'm definitely keeping that one. And then this is kind of where it gets a little bit more difficult. This Kiko Milano Energy Shake Long Lasting Bronzer in the shade Embracing Sienna. It's a bit dark. But I'm not ready to part the face with it. And I also have one more. These are my only two um, powder, like matte powder bronzers. So this is the Milani Silky Matte. I'm considering getting rid of this one, but I'm not there yet. I have finished one of these in the past. But I, I know that I love it, but I just don't really use it that much anymore. But I have scraped a little bit out of it out and put it into this one, as I said. Um, it's a very nice bronzer. I just, I don't really reach for my matte bronzers that much. And I have one more powder blush and it's the Catrice Holiday Skin Luminous Bronzer. And this one I'm gonna get rid of. I just don't like the scent of this and I don't really like the finish of it. It gets a little bit patchy and just it looks kind of muddy and dirty on my face. Uh, so I'm, hopefully someone else will want it. Uh, so I'm just putting it aside and then I'm going to ask around, maybe see yeah, if someone would want it. I don't know, but I'm getting rid of that one. And then I have two more cream bronzers. Mm. So this is Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer in the shade Light. This is also very dark, to be called light. And I have hit pan on it and I do like it. But it's winter time and I'm just not sure I'm gonna reach like I'm definitely not gonna reach for this one over my NARS cream bronzer. And I also don't wanna reach for this one when I could be reaching. Why am I saying reaching for for everything? If I when I could be using my um, breezy blush in the shade Seychelles from Tarte. And these are they have a different tone though. This is much more orange. But I just, hmm. I also actually have one more bronzer, but it's, I think I have left it at my parents' house. And it's the, okay, yeah, they're very different. It's the Chanel, this is the, well, no, I'm, I'm speaking about different things. This is the Tarte one, this is the Revolution one. The Revolution one is much more neutral. Um, but now I'm not sure. Yeah, but what I was saying is I have the Chanel Bronze Universal, an old one, and I'm going to be declaring that one as well. I wish I could show it to you, but um, I'm going to insert a clip. I guess it's still working fine, but it's just, it feels too old to be putting on my face, and I just, I'm, I don't want to use that one when I could be using my NARS one, which is much newer. Um, so yeah. That one is going, and then, uh, I don't know, I'm going to keep both of them for now. And then if I do a declutter again later on, we'll see. I'm going to think about it. So that means this is kind of on my shopping block. But I do, when I look at the swatches, I, I think I like the Revolution one more. But it's just very dark, so you need to be very careful when you apply it. 
So, yeah, I'm going to keep it. So that is everything I'm keeping, which means I probably won't have room for all of them. Or maybe I will actually like this. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I, I really like that. Okay. So I can put these back in now. All of my MAC compacts, I just love how they fit so perfectly into these little energy acrylic drawers. So that means in this video, this, can you see all of it? This is everything I'm keeping for blush, bronzer, and highlighter, like this. And that means I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine bronzers that's not a lot actually it's a lot less than I have had previously and then I have I don't know how many blushes I'll put the number up on the screen if I can count them and kind of only one highlighter but I'm counting it as two and then I also need to count the highlighters that are in my um the palettes that I'm thinking of deploying into something else so I'm gonna have a couple highlights, but I'm like I'm not gonna have more than five or six, so that's good. Uh, I'm happy, I'm really happy with this. And then these now I'm in the frame. That's awful. These are the ones that I'm gonna declutter slash like these. I'm gonna keep the packaging, but I'm doing something else with them. And these I'm just gonna toss or hopefully give away to someone else. And that's everything. So um, if this is a, a long stunning video, that will list. So that's everything for my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. I hope you liked it and I will see you later. Bye.